hi guys and welcome to my channel today I am participating in yet another challenge hosted by Heidi Sample and this time she is hosting it about with Holly living from living in country and um, we are supposed to do a well the ch the name of the challenge is fall farmhouse DIY and we're supposed to create a a DIY to um, that's farmhousey and fall uh, themed so I've decided to create a couple pieces well I guess yeah a couple pieces for my um, uh, three-tiered tray that I will be decorating for fall so I why don't you guys come along and see how I do this so the first item that I will be DIYing well pretty much just painting up is this lantern that I had picked up at Dollar Tree it has a battery operated candle in it and I just wanted to paint it uh, white make it a little bit more farmhouse style um, I'm going to try and make it as rustic as possible so some of the I want to leave some of the brown showing and I will be using my um, chalked ultra matte paint linen white it's the rust-oleum chalk paint and the brush that I will be using is just a brush from a dollar store so I am almost dry brushing it meaning I'm not applying very much paint and just going over it lightly For my next project, I will be using this material that I had thrifted from a thrift store for $2.80 and I will be covering these pumpkins with the material. So the first step is you want to cut out this cut up the strips. I am just using the little square as a guideline so that all the strips are approximately the same width. Um, I just um, cut them uh, a certain length, well the length, the length that the material was wide and then uh, I just cut it as I glued them on to the length that I needed. Uh, once, once I was ready for the pumpkin, which this pumpkin I got from Dollarama several years back, I popped the top off because I will just have to glue it back on and then I just wrapped the material around the pumpkin you can go um, either any way you want um, see which way works for you you're done gluing the material make sure you glue the the top part back on or poke a hole through it on depending on what pumpkin you're using so here they are, here is the smaller one and here is the bigger one. I think they turned out really, really nice. And I'm going to incorporate them into my three-tier tray. Here it is, all done. I really like the way the pumpkins look on the, the three-tier tray. I would like to thank Heidi and Holly for hosting this challenge. Um, I will have their channels linked down below as well as the playlist for this challenge linked down below. So make sure you go check out all the wonderful channels participating. And until next time, hope you guys have a wonderful day. And if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. And if you're brand new to my channel, I would love for you to press that subscribe button. Stick around. See what this channel is all about. Until next time, hope you guys have a wonderful day and thank you so much for watching.